Hey guys, Chef Amy with you here and welcome to Steph and Adam. Today we are making for you an awesome plant-based meal prep to kick you guys off for the January uh, in V in V in uh, V uh, in January uh, the new th January is the perfect time for the new year, new you. And uh, the January is where you go through January and you get to eat uh, vegan for a month, uh, as we do, and following a plant-based diet, that's basically a vegan diet. And so we're going to be sharing with you over the next month and the rest of the year and the rest of this channel is plant-based recipes. Uh, so today I'm making for you my meal prep for the week, I'll be making a granola for breakfast, I'm going to be making a green curry, and some rice and beans. Uh, all the recipes are in our cookbook, plant-based meal prep. You guys can find this link in the description below and recipes uh, for this are all in here. So let's get started. So we're gonna start by cooking off uh, the rice for both the green, uh, eggplant and green bean curry and the rice and beans. In the book it says white rice, but you can use any kind of rice. And to save some time, I'm going to double up and use brown rice for both recipes. Uh, these recipes are on page 86 and on page 100. And then the granola is what we will be making uh, towards the end. So to get started on the rice, you're going to add 3 cups of rice to your pot, and then 6 cups of water. Then pop it on the stove. On high, put on a lid. Once it comes to a boil, I'm going to turn it to low and let it simmer until all the water has evaporated. It's going to be about 20 minutes. Now the rice is on, we're going to get started on the... So now that the rice is on, we're going to get started on the green... The green... So now that the rice is on, we're going to get started on the green curry paste. So for the curry paste, you need three chilies or jalapenos, some lemongrass, some ginger, garlic, and half of a red onion. And a little food processor or blender. Give everything a rough chop. Make sure to peel your ginger. And pop it in the blender. Add two tablespoons of olive oil, salt, pop on a lid, give it a mix. Scrape down the edges of the bowl, lid back on, blitz for another minute. Perfect green curry paste. Now the curry paste is done, you can set it aside, and now we're gonna prepare the vegetables to go in the curry. Put them into a little bowl, then we can uh, chop up some more ginger and garlic. The way to dice this up is to make thin strips and make them into thin sticks again. And then back on the angle. It's good for you. I think we're going to use half of this. It seems like a lot. And then it's a couple extra garlic cloves. And then pop them into the little bowl with the onions and garlic. A great way to handle a big eggplant like this is just to cut a slice uh, on one side so you can make a flat surface. And then roll it over, and now it's not going to roll around on you. Of course, you can use this part. And now it's going to make long strips. Of course, you can cut this end off, and then continue making long strips. This heaps easier to cut this way. Okay, once you're in long strips, you can turn it onto their side, and then you can make long strips again. Find its dust. Beautiful, and now we can start cooking this off. Uh, before we prepare the beans. To a wok or large skillet, I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil, pop in the um, onions, garlic, ginger, uh, turn the heat on high, stir the onions and the garlic around, and we're going to add in the eggplant, mix it all around, now let that cook while we prepare the beans. To prepare the beans, I'm just going to rip this little end off, that's all I'm going to do, and then I'm just going to dice these up. Make sure to keep stirring the eggplant. The eggplant's starting to brown up nice. I'm actually going to pop in what I have of my green beans. Should I keep stirring? Now add in the green curry paste. Mix it all around. Now we're going to add in one can of coconut milk. There we go. The coconut milk will look like this just because it's cold right now where I am. And that is this the fat hardening. Once it heats up, it will melt. While it's simmering, you can actually fill up the can that you just had with water and add that in. Mix it all together, pop on a lid, and let it simmer for 10 minutes. So now that the curry is on, in the time it takes you to make the curry, the rice should be done. So our rice is done. We're just going to leave that at the back of the stove um, to rest. And now we're going to do the beans part of the rice and beans. So let's start by dicing up some onions and get them into a pan. So through our dice, we're just going to make our claw. And we're going to strike the onion almost all the way through the back. 
leaving it a little bit attached just to help uh, hold it all together. So then when you turn it back around like this, we can just go straight down like that and make a nice dice. Now, I'm, now that onion is diced, we're just going to pop it to the side, pop it into a little bowl, and we'll, then we'll dice our tomatoes up, and then we'll just fry up in the pan all at once, nice and quick. So now in the book it does say to do the salsa and guac separate. Today I'm going to be putting it all in one. This is like my budget, cheap, uh, lazy man's um, rice and beans today. No guac today, just dicing up the tomatoes like so. Oh, make sure you take the stickers off guys. Don't let those stickers get in there. So I'm just going to throw the tomatoes in the uh, beans and rice mixture uh, as it cooks and just kind of let it kind of like uh, develop into the dish as it is without being an add-on as salsa so that the tomato becomes part of the rice and beans uh, I like this way of doing it, it's a little bit different, it's a little like a little hack uh, yeah I'm gonna make the salsa, it takes, skips a step and um, and yeah just a cheap, faster way to do it here we go, tomatoes are diced so by the time you cut up the onions and the tomatoes your curry should be done turn it off Let's give that a stir. Oh yeah, she's done. So I add a little bit of water in there to kind of thin it out a little bit, just so that it reheats better. If you don't add the water, it will become very thick when you go to reheat it. So the water just kind of thins it out a little bit, uh, makes it a little bit more soupy, a little bit more curry, and much better to put over the rice, um, so it's a little bit more saucy. I'm gonna get the rice and beans going, I'm gonna add a bit of olive oil to a pan, and I'm gonna turn it on high. They can go in like that, beautiful. The onions are frying up nicely. We can just give them a little toss. We can now add in our black beans, they can go in. Same with our tomatoes, pop them in. Give it all a stir. Add in some cumin. Black pepper. Salt. Stir. So I'm popping a lid, let that cook for about 10 minutes. Last thing we're going to make is the granola for breakfast and the first thing we need to do is turn the oven on at 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 200 degrees Celsius. In a bowl, place the oats, maple syrup and cinnamon. Mix it all together, then place it onto two trays with parchment paper, then pop it in the oven for 7 to 10 minutes. Check it in about 5 minutes to make sure it's not burning. Dust up the almonds and the dates. Once the oats are ready, place them in a bowl, then add in the almonds, raisins, dates, and pepitas. Mix it all together, and it's done. To plate up the meals, you're going to put one cup of rice in each perfect container. Then divide the curry and the rice and beans evenly amongst the containers. Finish the rice and beans, top with a little bit of sriracha. Easy as that, guys. Hope you guys enjoy this epic meal prep. Uh, this is gonna be enough food for like at least three to four days for me. And then with the granola, yes, the granola, all I'm gonna do with that is I'm gonna use um, almond milk, something like that, or some dairy free yogurt, like cashew yogurt. Yes, as you notice, these are made for six, so the rice and beans in the book is for four portions. I just made 1.5, you know, versions of that to make it for six. I had 12 full meals, and um, yeah. So if you want to say hi, say hi, yes, tell them to go grab the book and to a new website at stephandadam.net. That's right, we have a website now. You can go look at all the recipes that are up on the website as well. Yes, and they can watch videos there, yes. You want to say something to them? You want to say bye guys, bye.